Anaconda and PyCharm are both popular tools for Python developers, and both tools include some feature overlap, so for newer users it can sometimes be difficult to tell what the difference is between the two, and which one they should use, or if they should use both. In this video, we're going to discuss the unique features of PyCharm and Anaconda, as well as where they overlap, and what the best use case is for each tool. In terms of unique features, PyCharm is a highly specialized Python Integrated Development Environment, or IDE. The main purpose of PyCharm is to make it as easy as possible to write clean, efficient Python code. In addition to basic text editing features, PyCharm includes refactoring features to help you write the best code possible. I've input one of the first Python scripts I ever wrote here in PyCharm, and you can see that while there are no explicit errors, the refactor settings are showing me exactly where I can revise my spacing to follow best coding practices. This is a feature not included in most IDEs. PyCharm also includes built-in support for most popular Python web frameworks, such as Django or Flask, and it includes code highlighting and specialized refactoring tools as well. All in all, PyCharm is one of the most powerful IDEs you can get for making sure your Python code is the best it can be. In contrast, Anaconda includes an IDE, but it functions more as a platform for a variety of data science utilities. Anaconda includes a Python interpreter, which allows users to write and run Python code in a single tool, and it also includes access to utilities beyond simple Python text editing. Users can also use Anaconda to manage Jupyter Notebooks, which are great for testing and documenting data science scripts, and it also supports additional data science-focused languages like R. Since users are able to choose which Anaconda-supported applications they install, it can also be very lightweight, which can improve performance as you don't have to have any features that you don't need to use. Lastly, Anaconda also includes learning and community resources in-app. This makes it so that users can think of Anaconda as a one-stop shop for data science, even if its IDE doesn't offer the same bells and whistles as PyCharm. Though Anaconda isn't focused on being an IDE, it does include a lightweight, comparatively simple tool to PyCharm called Spider. Spider doesn't offer the bells and whistles that PyCharm does. Looking at the same code from earlier, you can see that there's no refactor warnings, even though it still does include some color coding. PyCharm, on the other hand, is a more powerful but heavier tool that's more demanding on your system in return for more features. The core difference between Anaconda and PyCharm is that PyCharm is a specialized IDE for any type of Python development, while Anaconda offers a more wide array of features specifically focused around data science. So with the differences and similarities between PyCharm and Anaconda in mind, what's the best use case for each and which should you be using? Anaconda is perfect for data science problems. The inclusion of a Python interpreter and access to notebooks, as well as other data science languages like R, makes Anaconda great for any data science needs. Another good use case for Anaconda is for developing on lower-end systems or for very demanding Python scripts like machine learning solutions. For these use cases, the lightweight nature of Spider can make it a more compelling IDE compared to the more advanced, but also more demanding PyCharm. PyCharm, in contrast, is a great IDE for Python developers that are not focused specifically on data science. PyCharm provides support for multiple Python frameworks, as well as refactoring options specialized for tasks like web development. While Anaconda is specialized for data science and is excellent for that task, PyCharm is a more generalist tool that can be used for data science, but can also be used for any other kind of Python development. It is important to note that for users that prefer PyCharm to Spider but want the other features of Anaconda, it's very possible to use PyCharm as an IDE while using Anaconda as an interpreter and for its other utilities. In fact, PyCharm includes built-in support for integrating it with Anaconda so that users can use them both seamlessly. One important thing to note, if you're interested in using both, is that neither has a forever free business version. So using both is comparatively pricier than using one or the other. You would expect to pay about twice as much if you're gonna use both rather than just one. All in all, if you're looking for a suite of tools that can aid you with data science problems, Anaconda is the perfect solution. If you're looking for a feature-rich Python IDE, PyCharm might be preferred. And if you want a data science tool and a powerful IDE, you can always use both. If you're still looking for more information on either product, consider checking out reviews for either one on TrustRadius.com. 
All reviews hosted on TrustRadius are written by verified product users who share their experience with the products based on their background, use case, and skill set. If you want to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing below to ensure that you never miss an upload.